Hey y'all, I'm back with a plan with me video and this is for February 2018, obviously, for the 19th through the 25th. And I am starting off with two of my A5 planner pages out of my planner on my desk. And those planner pages came from Hobby Lobby from their Agenda 52 line. I really like those because um, I love the font and I love just kind of the simplicity of them as well. I'm starting off with one of the mini planner sticker books and I'm just going to add some repetitive what's for dinner stickers and I'm going to add them in different colors. I'm not going to pay too much attention to um, a color scheme for this spread. I'm just going to start decorating and then um, from there we'll see how it goes. So I've really loved the um, before the pen trend and so I've been um, decorating my planner before I write in it a lot and I'm really loving that and I think one of the reasons I'm loving that is because it takes a lot less time. I think because I'm not flipping through sticker books and picking up my pen and flipping through sticker books and um, so I think that that makes a big difference. So I'm really not paying a ton of attention to you know what do I need on what particular day. You know some days I know I have errands so I'm going to leave kind of a bigger space to write those errands and some days I know that I have like at least three tasks so I'm going to put maybe some um, check marks or hearts to as bullet points but other than that I'm not um, I'm going to keep it pretty simple I'm not going to put too much thought into that so I did pick up my pen to write February up at the top and I really love the way this turned out I saw um, who did I see do this I saw, I think, Plans by Rochelle or something like that. Um, I saw her highlight her numbers at the top of her planner that were already um, pre-printed on the actual planner, but I saw her highlight them with some of her, uh, I think that they were the Tombow dual brush pens, and so I'm going to use that same technique to highlight my February there at the top. And then I'll use it again for something at the bottom. And I, I really liked kind of doing some similar things throughout the spread and um, having it all kind of tie together. So again, I'm just looking through the planner sticker books that I've had for a while. I have a few mini basic, or I have a couple of basic ones. And then I have the rainbow one, of course. And then I have the mom mini sticker book. I'm um, trying to think of any other ones that I'm looking through. Probably, I probably am going between about four sticker books for today's Plan With Me. I also have the Alphabet uh, sticker book, and I really love to use that just to kind of, I don't like to write a whole, or I guess place a whole lot of Alphabet stickers down um, just because it can get kind of like tedious, but I normally use it when I have kind of a shorter word that I want to spell like work or I use it pretty often to note that I watch uh, my nieces on Tuesdays so um, not that I need to like I guess write that because I'm not going to forget but uh, just to kind of note you know and to make it kind of pop do something a little bit different. So I tested out some colors and I really love the mint color I think it brought in the other mint elements that are going on in the spread and then now I'm back and my nails aren't painted anymore because they got super chipped throughout the day. And so um, I am, I guess I didn't zoom in for this part, but I am actually um, just going to add in some of my Pick Monkey stickers that I created. I talk a lot about these, but basically I just get on and use some fonts uh, that I like and I create one sticker and then I repeat it in the Silhouette software. And once I repeat it several times or to my liking, then I, or to the size of my liking, I print and cut. And I am loving these stickers. I tailored them to my needs. Um, so you'll see some, like the top one says AKF Gym. AKF stands for my daughter. And then um, she has Gym on Mondays, duh. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, anyway, she has Gym on gymnastics on Mondays. So I did that same technique with the uh, pen or the dual brush pen there at the bottom where I'm noting some of my Instagram posts. I did zoom in a little bit because I'm going to start writing here. Um, I, I don't know. I think sometimes I write better when I don't think too much and I struggled on this particular <laughs> spread and I don't know why, 
Um, sometimes it works out better for me than others. I think maybe I write bigger than I'm actually writing in these planner spreads. And so um, I think that's a little bit of a task, just trying to write a little smaller. And then also the, I mean, the pages are obviously smaller too. So I didn't like what I wrote there. So I just simply covered it up with a arrow sticker from the rainbow sticker book. And um, I liked it a lot better after that. And then for some, um, I really love to do the technique where like you kind of uh, make shadows, but they're more of like lines and they're open or they're open shadows. But I actually made one, I kind of accidentally made one a little too dark, one of the letters. So I just went ahead and filled it in and it still had a kind of a nice shadow on the what's for dinner part. I'm going to make a list of errands that I'm going to run on Wednesday and then what we're having for dinner on Wednesday evening. And then I'm going to use my, uh, br another brush pen that I have. Goodness, I'm going to butcher the name, so I'm not even going to say it, but I'll link it down below. And it's also by Tombow. And I use it to write print, but I also use it to, uh, letter as well, or just write kind of more script, scripty. I think that's why I love creating the black and white, just simple stickers on Pick Monkey because it kind of is less that I have to write. And so, um, I know that sounds super lazy, but I think that that makes a big difference. And it really pops. Like I notice when I place a lot of those around my spread, um, I don't try to overwhelm it, but when I put them kind of spread out, I really love the way that it turns out. My eyes really drawn to those black and white stickers. So. I'm going to write down some posts that I'd like to um, add on my Instagram page. And if you haven't checked that out, I do add things on there that I don't add on my personal page. Actually, I don't add any more craft stuff on my personal page or my personal Instagram as of like the end of January. And so if you haven't been seeing crappy posts on there, that's why. You'll want to check out my, my um, other one, which is Ashley underscore Laura underscore scraps. And I'll, I always link that stuff down below, or I at least put my um, username down below. Here's another example of where I uh, wasn't too excited about the way that um, my handwriting turned out on the 24th, and so I'm looking for something to kind of cover up the word document, and I haven't find, found anything yet, but I am going to go through my sticker books, just kind of see if there's anything that I can maybe, like, work with in terms of um, maybe some stickers that I could even use to to kind of al and alter those. I don't know. I, I got sidetracked, and I added bacon and eggs for, for Sunday, Um and because I knew we were going to have breakfast, we normally try to have like family breakfast on Sunday. So I did find a work sticker and I ended up adding my tasks that I needed to add. And then I added a heart kind of where the pen was still showing. I'm going to finish up adding my tasks on Friday. And then I'm going to do a tiny bit more decorating um, and then I'll pretty much call it done. I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Let me know if you have any thoughts or questions. I'd love to hear from y'all and uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye.